What's up guys, Moonlaps Nightwind here. Welcome to the next part of the full album collection. We're going to be doing the H's, the I's, and the J's. The H's and the J's are very small sections, so this won't be uh, as long as most of them. Let's go ahead and get started. First up, we have The Heart Machine with their only album, Disclosure. Then we have Hades, spelled H-A-D-E-Z, with Even If You Die A Thousand Times. Next up is Haggard with Awakening the Centuries. Then we have Hail of Bullets with On Divine Winds. Next up is uh, Haiva with Meili Masa. Then we have Haken with, oops, with The Mountain. That's out of order. Hold on. There's something's something is out of order. One second. All right, we've got that fixed. We have Hammers of Misfortune with the Bastard and the August Empire. Then we have Haken with the Mountain Affinity. This is the uh, uh, two CD edition with the instrumental disc and Live, which is a CD two CD two DVD set. Next up is the Halo Effect with Days of the Lost. It's basically Old in Flames, uh, which is fantastic. Then we have Halcyon Way with Building the Towers, the Indoctrination EP, and Conquer. Then we have Hands of Despair with Well of the Disquieted. Then we have Hanging Garden with Into That Good Night and Skeleton Lake. Next up is The Haunted with the self title Revolver and The Dead Eye. Next up is Hazael with Thor. Then we have Heilung with Drith, I believe is how it's pronounced. Then we have Helgard with the Black Flame Descent. Then we have Hellhammer with the Triumph of Death demo and the Satanic Rites demo. Next up is uh, Harry. Uh, Heresiarch Semin uh, Seminary, I believe how the band name is pronounced, with Dark Ages of Witchery. Heresiarch Semin Seminary, I'm not sure. Hessian with Monogarmer. Uh, then we have Hexantons with Necrocraft. Then we have Him with Greatest Love Songs, Volume 666. These first four uh, studio albums are the deluxe reissues with the Velvet... Uh, slipcase, uh, and then each disc has a bonus disc with some live material, some remixes, and the like. So, Greatest Love Songs Volume 666, Razorblade Romance, Deep Shadows and Brilliant Highlights, which also has the two bonus tracks from the original Deluxe Edition, uh, You Are the One and then Love and Lonely. And then Love Metal, which has also has the bonus track Love's Requiem on the main disc. Next up is the Singles Collection. This is a, a box set with 10 different singles in it, including some B-sides. Um, it's All Tears, Wicked Game, When Love and Death Embrace, Join Me in Death, Right Here in My Arms, Poison Girl, Gone with the Sin, Pretending, Enjoy and Sorrow, and then the double single, Heartache Every Moment and Closer to, or Close to the Flame. Then I also have, I gotta grab it one second, here we go, the uh, in, or the online edition of Dark Light. This is uh, the main album with the two bonus tracks, The Cage and Venus in Our Blood. It comes with a hardogram shaped flashlight, uh, as in the light is hardogram shaped. Uh, it comes with a book with handwritten lyrics by Villevalo. Obviously each one is not individually handwritten, um, it's photocopied, but still. Uh, 
versus the uh, the standard edition and the other uh, uh, digibook edition. And then it comes with a certificate of authenticity signed by the band. And this is number 9,832 and or out of 2,000. And it says, this certificate verifies this is an authentic hymn special edition of the album Dark Light. This edition has been limited to a quantity of 20,000 and will not be produced in any other editions in the future. Which is still true. They have not reproduced this in any way. And it all comes in a metal case. Then we have In Love Said No. This is a Greatest Hits album, but I bought it for the title track. Because it's the only thing it's been put on. Uneasy Listening Volume 1. The Deluxe Edition of Venus Doom. This has a bonus CD with a couple of remixes. Screamworks Love and Theory and Practice, uh, chapters 1 through 13. This is a two disc deluxe edition, the second disc being the acoustic version of the album. And their final album, Tears on Tape. This is the deluxe edition with the Blu ray where they perform some stuff in studio. Next up is Hyman Bjorg with Where Ravens Fly. Or Hyman Bjorg, however it's pronounced. Then we have Homegang with Runin's Adversarial. Then we have Hope Drone with Cloak of Ash. Then we have Horrendous with Sweet Blasphemies. Ectasis and Anna, Anna Retta, I think is how it's pronounced. Next up is Hrig or Herzg with uh, Oaken Path of Grief. The Human Abstract with Midheaven. And the last for the H's, Hyborian with Volume 1. Moving on to the eyes, we have I Shalt Become with Wanderings. Then we have I the Breather with Life Reaver. Then we have Ibaraki with Rashomon, the uh, side project of Matthew Heafy from Trivium. Then we have Idolatron with Visions from the Throne of Eyes. Next up is If These Trees Could Talk with the Bones of a Dying World. Then Ignea with the Sign of Faith. Then we have Ison with, I don't know if it's supposed to be Angel or Angle, but it's A-N-G capital L. After. And Arctis, this is the deluxe digibook version with the bonus track Tiltor Ulven. Then we have Immolation with Here and After. Next up is Immortal with not as much as I'd like to have from them, but you know, we work with what we find. First up with Damned in Black, Sons of Northern Darkness. All Shall Fall, Northern Chaos Gods, and what is now the Demon As solo show, War Against All. Then we have Impaled Nazarene with Rapture, and All That You Fear. Next up is Impaler with Charnel Deity. And we have uh, Imperial Triumphant with Spirit of Ecstasy. Then we have Impetigo with, let's see here, uh, Ultimo Mondo Cannibale. Then The Horror of the Zombies. Next up is Impetuous Ritual with Unholy Congregation of Hypocritical Ambivalence. Then we have Impureza with uh, La Caida de Ton uh, Tonatia, I think is how it's pronounced. I can speak Spanish pretty well, or, or at least read it, but uh, that one I'm not so sure. Then we have Impurity with Necro Infantis, uh, inf uh, infam Necro Infamous of tumul uh, Tumulus Return. Ooh, another mouthful. Then we have In Extrema with Vect de Toten. Next up is In Flames with Lunar Strain. 
the Subterranean EP, the Jester Race, which also has the Black Ash Inheritance EP, Horacle, the Deluxe Edition of Colony, Clayman, uh, the Tokyo Showdown. Again, like um, like with Blind Guardian, it's interesting that they chose to release their first live album in Tokyo, of all places, or from Tokyo. Uh, Reroute to Remain. The Trigger EP. Soundtrack to Your Escape. Come Clarity. This is the deluxe digipack version with a bonus DVD. A Sense of Purpose, also the deluxe digipack uh, version. Sounds of a Playground Fading, also Deluxe Digipack version. Siren Charms, this is the Deluxe Digibook version with the bonus track Become the Sky. Battles. Eye the Mask. And their most recent album, Forlorn. Or Forgone, excuse me, Forgone. Next up, we have In Ruins with Four Seasons of Grey. Oops. Then we have In the Woods with, uh, what was this one? Live at, the, or Live at the Caledonian Hall. It's a two CD set. Also comes with a bonus CD sampler from their record label. Inactive Messiah with their self-titled. Then we have Incantation with Onward to Golgotha, Upon the Throne of Apocalypse, The Infernal Storm, Blasphemy, Decimate Christendom, Primordial Domination, Profane Nexus, and Sect of Vile Divinities. Then we have Incinerate with Eradicating Terrestrial Species. Uh, Incura with Swords, Souls, Secrets EP. Then we have, which one's this? This is uh, Infernal Coil with Within a World Forgotten. Next up is Insomnium with Since the Day It All Came Down. One for Sorrow. Shadows of the Dying Sun. This is the deluxe edition with the bonus uh, CD. Winter's Gate. Heart Like a Grave. The Argent Moon EP. And Anno 1696. Then we have Inspell with Arcadian Tales, the uh, Egregory. And this is limited to 950 copies. Mine is number 370. Next up is Inter Arma with Sky Burial and Sulphur English. Then we have Into Eternity. Alright, Into Eternity with Dead or Dreaming. Buried in Oblivion. The Incurable Tragedy. And The Scattering of Ashes. Then we have Intronaut with Habitual Levitations, Instilling Words with Tones, Fluid Existential Inversions. Then we have uh, Envision with Envision. Next up is Ion Dissonance with Solace. Then we have Irakanji with Global Genocide. Iron Mask with Black as Death. Uh, then Irreverent with Blasphemous Crucifier Profanation. And then we have Eubaris with Code. And that finishes up the eyes, wrapping up with the little bit of the J's. Literally, this is the whole stack of the J's. We have James Labrie with his solo album, Elements of Persuasion. 
Julian K with Death to uh, Death to Analog. This was a the um, the new project from the guys that used to be in Orgy. Uh, I saw them live with the Birthday Massacre, uh, which was and they were surprisingly really good. I didn't know what to expect because I'd never heard of them before. I only knew Orgy because of their cover of Blue Monday, which they Julian K also performed. That's what they closed with. Um, but they were really good, uh, and they were kind enough to sign the back for me. Then we have Jesu or Yesu, or however you want to pronounce it, first up with the Heartache and Dethroned EPs. Uh, Heartache, this is the reissue of it, it's not the original, but Dethroned was only issued with this, so that was pretty cool. Then we have uh, the self-titled, the Silver EP, and Conqueror. Then we have Ginger with Cloud Factory and Wallflowers. I really want to get more of their stuff, but it is so hard to find for a decent price. Next up is Job for a Cowboy with the Doom EP, Genesis, Ruination, Demonocracy, and their most recent album, Sun Eater. And then finishing up with the J's, we have Joy Division with Unknown Pleasures and Closer. There are only two albums, and then these are the two disc reissues that have. Uh, uh, Closer has a live disc, and then Unknown Pleasures has. Uh, let's see here. Uh, it also has a live disc, just from a different time period. All right, and that is it for this part. As always, thank you guys so much for watching. Thanks for subscribing. If you're new here, subscribe if you found something you liked. Subscribe if you, uh, if you like what you saw, because there will be more coming. And I'll see you guys next time. Take care.